Hello you wonderful people, today we are painting the blue spotted ribbon tail ray, oh, this sounds like a um, riddle, not a riddle, this, these hard to pronounce sentences, I don't know how, what they are called, um, to me blue spotted ribbon tail ray, well it's a pretty nice and uh, in comparison small animal that we have. Well, the sea, uh, the sea star, the starfish, was also a little bit smaller, but the blue spotted ribbon tail ray is one of the smaller rays that are around. It's it gets only 35 centimeters wide and a little bit longer than that. It lives in a depth of 30 meters or 100 feet in the tropical Indian and Western Pacific oceans. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's raining right now with a little bit of thunder, etc. Dante is already hiding under my desk. Can you hear it? If not, well, sorry. So, we have rain again. The temperatures are still down to bearable 26 um, degrees of Celsius. It's still warm and humid because of the rain, but it's much nicer than it was um, before during this awful heat wave that we had. Sorry for giving you the information on our weather. Well, back to the blue spotted ribbon tail ray. I was on the lookout for fun and interesting fish or sea creatures to paint and I thought rays would be some of them. They're like the bats of the sea. The blue spotted ribbon tail ray whoa, is a bluish gre greenish um, creature with blue spots on the back. I felt that it would fit well into the series and wanted to have at least one ray um, in there. But during my research I have seen so many more that were so interesting and I probably will paint them. As you know the rays are also endangered or as this creature is near threatened because they get caught accidentally when um, fished with nets and the pollution of the seas of the water is also adding to the loss of their habitat. Well, not the loss exactly, but the pollution of their habitat. So, it's not a nice situation for them, as for many more animals, you know. We're li living in a time where many animals are either endangered or threatened by the loss of habitat, by the weather by um, the food sources that we as humans have um, either polluted or just taken away so I feel sorry and I feel bad for being part of the problem kind of um, but that's also a reason why I decided to paint so many animals as they inspire me, they just, I don't know, I feel the urge to paint so many more of them. Recently I also felt the urge to paint portraits and I'm not sure whether I will start with that, but first I want to end this series. There are also some reviews um, going up that are waiting and which I will publish after the series is done. The next animal in the series will be a narwhal, which I'm already excited to show you. 
and I hope you will enjoy that painting too. Well, this was a loud one. I hope you enjoy all of the paintings and I'm really excited to read your comments. It was so nice to communicate with you. Also, I have had some comments on the older videos of mine, which I really enjoyed. And I'm always glad to share the knowledge that I've accumulated over time and share it with everyone. And I know it's not perfect. I don't know everything, but I know many of you do know so much more and if we combine our knowledge well I think that is what is the perfect solution so I want to thank you for being part of this awesome community for being wonderful and loving people I enjoy you all have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon bye